Happy, Happy Sabbath, Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm Sister Miriam. And I'm Sister Naomi. And, and welcome, welcome to Sabbath, Sabbath School Online. <laughs> we are so glad that you could join us this lovely Sabbath morning. So let us welcome you. Welcome to Sabbath School, children, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath School everyone in the same way that we've welcomed you this sabbath we have to welcome jesus and we do that with a prayer so as we pray let us welcome the holy spirit to meet us wherever we are and to teach us today let us bow our heads and close our eyes to pray dear heavenly father we thank you for this blessed day that you have been with us we thank you for this week that you have protected us, you have guided us, you have kept us in good health, you have kept us in safety. We thank you, Lord, for watching over us and our family. Father God, as we go into a new week, we ask that your Holy Spirit will continue to be our guide, continue to strengthen us, to continue to lead us into wisdom and to truth. Father God, we ask that you will continue to bless our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. We ask that we may be a blessing to others. We ask that everywhere we go, whatever we may do, we will remember to keep the, the word in us. We will remember to guide, be guided by you and only you. So we thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day. We ask that we may bless each other, but we may, we may be blessed. So in Jesus' mighty name, we humbly do pray. Amen. Amen. There are so many great things that God has done this week, and we should praise God for them. What's one great thing that God has done for you this week? For some of you, that one great thing that God has done may have been blessing you with another year of life. If it was your birthday this past week, we want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. May God continue to richly bless you as you grow in his grace and favor. Before we start, this would be a great time to pause the video and begin writing out this week's lesson and memory verse. Ready? Ready? Let's begin. Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Fernita and I have a wonderful story for you called The First Christmas Song. Today's memory verse is from James chapter 1 verse 17. It says, every perfect gift is from God. The message for today's story is Jesus is God's precious gift to us. What do you do when something really wonderful happens? Do you want to tell someone else? Do you ever feel like singing? The night Jesus was born was a very special night for all the angels in heaven. They watched excitedly as Jesus was born in a stable and as his mother, Mary, tenderly wrapped him and laid him in the manger. They couldn't keep quiet a minute longer. God had just given the world the precious gift of his son. It was wonderful news. But no one on earth knew about the marvelous thing that had just happened. No one was there to welcome Jesus, the newborn king. The angels wanted to share their happiness with someone, but all of Bethlehem lay quiet and asleep. They had to tell someone, whom would they tell? That night, shepherds watched over their sheep on a hillside near the city. That very night, the shepherds were probably talking with each other about the promise God had given them so long ago. They knew that God had promised to send a savior and they prayed that he would come soon. Suddenly, the shepherds saw a bright light. They had never seen anything shining so brightly at night before and it frightened them. Then they heard a voice as they looked up. The bright light was actually an angel. Do not be afraid, said the angel. I bring you good news of great joy. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. 
He is Christ the Lord. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly the sky was bright with hundreds of glorious, sparkling angels. They sang a song unlike any the shepherds had ever heard. The shepherds watched and listened in amazement. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all people. The angels were so happy to share the news of the birth of Jesus. Their beautiful song flowed from hearts brimming over with joy. It was a song of praise for the precious gift of Jesus. And that was the very first Christmas song. Today we still sing songs about his birth, and we thank God for the precious gift of his son, Jesus. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed today's story, The First Christmas Song. Our story can be found in Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. However, I will also be reading verse 15. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 15. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. Today's memory verse can be found in James 1 verse 17. James 1 verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Appearance. Jesus' appearance on earth was declared from the time Adam and Eve originally sinned. And throughout the Bible, there are many stories that parallel and hint at the story of Jesus, like Abraham and Isaac, Joseph, and Jonah. Yet the people didn't notice the birth of the Messiah, so the angels had to declare it. But who would they say it to? The shepherds. In the countryside of Bethlehem, the shepherds were awake and keeping watch over their flocks that night. They weren't searching for the Messiah, but they were awake. So they were quite shocked when the angel of the Lord appeared before them. The last time God spoke to his people was over 300 years ago to the prophet Malachi. But there before them was the angel of the Lord standing in God's glory saying, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And all of the heavenly host appeared, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And when the angels disappeared from the sky, the shepherds decided to go into Bethlehem to see the Savior of the world. Parents. Please take the time to help answer the following questions with your children. Why do you think the shepherds were frightened when the angel spoke to them? Question two, what was the first thing that the angel said to the shepherds? Question three, What was the special message the angels gave to the shepherds? Question 
Question four, where would the shepherds find baby Jesus? And question five, why were the angels singing? In summary, the angels expressed their joy at the birth of Jesus when they sang a wonderful song to the shepherds. We often forget to praise God for sending Jesus to live and die for us. We too need to express our joy and worship to the one who makes our salvation possible. As we pray, let us praise God for our Savior. Bow your heads and close your eyes to pray with us. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. Jesus may come in the morning. Jesus may come at noon. Jesus may come in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. So keep your heart in tune. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for just being with us and keeping us and watching over us, and maintaining us and strengthening us through this week as we've come closer and closer to you. Lord, we just thank you most of all, and we praise you and worship your name for the things that you've done for us, the things that you've continued to do for us, and things that you're planning to do for us. We thank you for your gifts that you've continued to bestow upon us, our friends, and our family, Lord. Most of all, Lord, we thank you for the blood that you allowed to be shed in the form of Jesus. He who you allowed to come to earth to live and to die, that we might know you, we might get to understand you, and might one day come to meet you in heaven. So Lord, we just ask that you just continue to be with us, that you continue to show us your graces and your mercy, Lord, but that you continue to elevate us from glory to glory, that we might know you more and more. So Lord, we just thank you for the things that you've done. We thank you for the gifts that you've given us, most of all being Jesus and your Holy Spirit that continues to lead us and guide us each and every day so we can be closer and closer to you. So Lord, we praise your name always. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us in Sabbath School Online. Just like Bob and Larry always say, God made you special and he loves you very much. Shalom. Shalom.